So when you look at a PLR package like this, you'll probably see the sales page and kind of think of the standard ways of using it. You know, you see the ebook and, and you can put that ebook up for sale on your website, maybe with the workbook as a bonus and the audiobook as an upsell or something like that. That's pretty standard. Uh, the articles could be used as blog posts. Maybe you switch up the articles with some of your own messages uh, and you post it to your blog, or maybe you take a section of the article and use that as a, as a conversation starter on Facebook. A lot of these are pretty common ideas. What I wanted to do here was also just share a few other ideas just to get you thinking, because when you see a PLR package of this size with the four different folders that I just walked through, there, uh, there are a lot of opportunities to use it in your con content marketing, not just now, but down the road. So I really want to encourage you to think of a PLR package like this, whether you buy this one or not, but when you have a package with this much content, it becomes part of your asset base, a content asset base that you can use now and in the future. So I wrote down a few ideas here. I just wanted to chat with you about really quickly here. Um, the first one being creating a sales funnel. So when I say this, um, what I really mean is creating an opportunity for you to get people to join your list and then have the opportunity to sell them products uh, once they join your list and you've developed trust with them. So one thing that, uh, that you could try is as an example, you could take the ebook, the workbook and audiobook, and create a product around that. And that could become a sellable item on your website. Let's just throw out there where you're going to sell it for 30 bucks. Okay. So it's up, it's up on your website. It's selling, it's got a public sales page, all of that great, great stuff. Then, you decide to uh, do some list building, whether you want to run ads on Facebook or solo ads, or maybe you have an affiliate promoting you and you have a free front end offer, you know, a, a zero dollar or just opt in for my list type of offer. And you could pull that offer out of this PLR package as well. We've created a lead gen report for you. There's a bunch of other content in, the, in there as well, graphics and slide decks. So with some creativity, you could put together a really cool little lead gen offer here. What you may want to do to personalize it is take the lead gen report and narrate it in your own voice. So there's an audio component as well. And then the, the uh, your audience gets to download this little free report with, uh, with a little voiceover from you and they get to know you at zero cost, zero dollars. So they sign up for your list to get this lead gen report and then you have an upsell. So whether that you, they see the upsell immediately after signing up for your list or you do it after they get their free download, it's up to you how you want to build your funnels. But then you could say, uh, thanks so much for signing up for my list. I've got this full strategic thinking package for sale on my website, uh, ebook, audiobook, workbook. It's normally $30. As a new subscriber, I'd like to offer it to you at a special price here today for $9.95, just as an example. So now you've got the opportunity to actually start monetizing the people that are joining your list and testing to see what the conversion rate would be. And then you can make some strategic decisions, strategic thinking <laughs> on how you want to use this funnel in your business. So that's a creative way of thinking about using PLR is that this can be part of your funnel. And then once somebody, a lot of people will not take that upsell offer. So they'll get the freebie. Uh, now they've still not downloaded your, um, your full ebook, audiobook, workbook combo, but later on they might. So now you can start following up with them and that's where you can use the PLR. We've got those pre-written emails to start following up with them and just keep reminding them of this concept of strategic thinking and share messages in different creative ways. They may go back to that upsell at a later date. You can remind them that they still have this opportunity to purchase at 995 and it may take a few follow-ups, but then you'll actually start making some sales there. So that's the concept of a sales funnel. The next one down here is add it to a larger course. So a lot of people will come to our help desk and they'll say, okay, I just bought your PLR product and so-and-so, and I've got the book here. How much do I sell it for? And, and uh, do you have a recommended price? And we don't because uh, so many of our customers actually do this type of implementation where they just take a PLR product and that just becomes a component of something much larger. It might be a chapter in a book that they're selling, or it might be a module in a course that they're selling. So strategic thinking could be one module in a four, six, eight module course that you build into your website and offer as a, um, a larger kind of higher ticket course that your students can go through maybe once they've bought a lower ticket item from you. So if you're developing a course right now, you probably know that it takes quite a bit of work to fill that course up with enough material for your students to actually learn something valuable. And if you need a module, if you need a chapter on thinking and helping your students actually maybe come up with creative solutions to the problems in their lives, this strategic thinking product could be a great chapter or module in that course. 
Next one down, using it as a strategic bonus. Going back to my original example, if you had a product on your website for sale, a strategic thinking ebook, audiobook, and workbook, it's $30, $40, whatever, and then you decide later on that you want to promote another product, whether it's your own, maybe it's a new coaching program you're launching, or maybe it's somebody else's that you're promoting as an affiliate. Now you've got this item with, with real value. It's, it's, you know, it's for sale on your website at 30, 40 bucks. You can offer this $40 bonus uh, as a free gift if they decide to purchase a different offer from you. So maybe they didn't want to off purchase this directly, uh, but they like it, but now they see something else you're offering as an affiliate or a different product for sale and they can get it for free as a bonus. It's a great way of just uh, delivering extra value to your clients and customers. Uh, create fireside chat videos. So this is a concept I covered recently on a webinar. If you didn't see that webinar, people love this idea. And what the concept is, is you simply just pull out a small passage from the ebook or one of the articles or really any component in this package that we're delivering to you today and you do, uh, you read the first part of the passage. So I could go back to that intro I read to you about strategic thinking, read the paragraph, think about it, and then turn to the camera and just speak my mind about it. So what you're doing is you're letting the PLR guide you to create authentic videos with your opinions and thoughts on a subject. I like to do this with a partner because then you can have someone that you're speaking to sort of podcast style. And then what the PLR does is it just leads the discussion but in the end, you're creating a unique piece of video content where you and your partner are talking about, in this case, strategic thinking by, start, by reading a passage and then discussing that passage. So it's, it's a really cool way of building sort of off the cuff video content, or you could do it in an audio format as well. And it lets your followers or potential subscribers see your personality, get a chance to see um, your style. And then it's a great way to attract the right buyers for your offers. And then uh, finally, creating pre uh, create premium freebies. You've probably, if you're on our list, you've probably seen that we like to do this. Um, we give free content freebies away to our list every week, just sort of as a way to make them feel valued as an email subscriber. So giving away something that you would normally charge for, uh, for free, just to say thank you for being a subscriber is a great uh, piece of advice that I would like to share with you because it works well for us. And you can use PLR like this to create all kinds of little freebies. You could take that lead generation report and within our, our terms of use, this is allowed because they're a subscriber and you're giving them the report privately. You can just give them this report on strategic thinking for free. You can say normally this isn't available or it's part of a course. I'm going to give you this uh, report on strategic thinking for free just to say thank you for being on my list today. And you can get very creative with how you approach freebies. I do a whole training on that, but I just want to plant that seed and give you that idea.